What's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to my channel, Mathlete. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a very easy yet a very important topic uh, in O-level math and that topic is called matrices. So let's get started. So the first question is, why do we use matrices? Now, the answer to that is, well, while there are plenty of reasons as to why matrices are used, but I'm gonna keep it short and simple, and that is to make data easy to read and understand. For example, say you have here Alex who has scored 65 in math, 82 in English, and 56 in science, and then we have Bob who scored 81 in math, 58, and 74 in English and science, respectively. So suppose I want to represent this data in a matrix. So what I want to do is I want to make a matrix with a certain number of rows and a certain number of columns. So by the way, we're going to get to rows and columns in the next slide. So right now, I'll just let's just get done with this example. So what I want to do is I want to give the first row to Alex and the second row to Bob and then I'm gonna write the marks Alex has scored in math English and science right so I can see that Alex has scored 65 in math 82 in English and 56 in science and then Bob has scored 81 58 and 74 in math English science respectively right so again you can see the idea of using a matrix is to take data that's in raw form and write it in a presentable manner any matrix is defined by its order now what is order order as you can see is basically the number of rows times the number of columns now as you can see rows are counted horizontally and columns are counted vertically so let me explain that by writing just a random matrix here all right so here we have a matrix with random elements 5 7 minus 1 4 3 2 now suppose I want to write down the order of this matrix now the order of this matrix is going to be equal to as you can see the number of rows times the number of columns so this matrix has a total of two rows right and Let's see how many columns does it have? It has one, two, three. C1 for column one, C2 for column two, so on and so forth. So the order of this matrix is gonna be written as two times three. And bear in mind, I'm not gonna multiply this two and three, all right? I'm just gonna leave it as this because I need to be able to see how many rows and how many columns this matrix has. So I'm just gonna leave two and three as this. Now let's talk about addition and subtraction of matrices. Now, if you wanna be able to add or subtract two matrices, okay? So there is one condition that must always be fulfilled. And that condition is that the two or perhaps more matrices that you wanna add or subtract should have the same order, all right? You can see I've emphasized on the word same, meaning that only two or more matrices with the same order can be added or subtracted. Let's find, let's figure that out with the help of an example. Okay. Now, suppose I wanna find out what A plus B is. Now, A plus B can be very conveniently found out because you can see that the two matrices, A and B, have the same order. That means I can very conveniently add them or perhaps subtract them if I wanted to. So three, five, two, minus seven. But now the question is, how am I going to add the two matrices, okay? And for that, what you have to do is, we add the corresponding elements. So four here is gonna be added with three. So four plus three, let's just write four plus three, okay? Let's not skip steps, let's be good students. And then one here is gonna be added to five. So one plus five is gonna be, well, we'll do that in the next step, just hold on to it. And then minus three plus two, so minus three plus two, and then five plus negative seven. So five plus negative seven. Now let's add or perhaps subtract these elements. So four plus three is gonna give me seven. One plus five is gonna give me six. Minus three plus two, negative one. Five minus seven is gonna give me negative two. All right, so here's your final answer. Pretty simple, right? Now suppose the question had asked me to figure out A plus C, if possible, all right? So well, obviously my answer is gonna be not possible because even if I try to add the two matrices, the question is, what, how, should I, how can I add if they don't, if the order doesn't match, all right? It doesn't make sense. I mean, how, what should I add four to? What should I add one to? It makes no sense. So I'm just gonna write that this is not possible. All right, so long story short, if you want to be able to add or subtract two matrices, they need to have the same order. Okay, now let's talk about multiplication. Now, there are two kinds of multiplication. One of them is, as you can see, is scalar right here, the one that I've written, and the other is matrix multiplication, which we're going to discuss later. 
Now, scalar multiplication is when you have a matrix. Let's say you have a matrix A, and the elements are 3, 5, again, just random numbers. And suppose you want to find out what 3A is equal to. So 3A means that I'm going to take the matrix A, right? I'm going to take the matrix A, 3, 5, and I'm going to multiply it by 3. So when I multiply it by 3, what happens? 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 5 is 15. So you notice, did you notice that I multiplied 3 with both the elements, right? So let's let's do another example. Say I have another matrix here, B, with elements as minus 4, negative 8, uh, 7, and 10. Again, just random values, okay? And the question is asking me to figure out half B, okay? I need to figure out half of B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my matrix B, all right? So minus 4, minus 8, 7, 10, and then I'm going to multiply all the values by half. So as far as minus 4 is concerned, once minus 4 gets multiplied by half, so that's going to become minus 2. As far as minus 8 is concerned, minus 4. As far as 7 is concerned, you can either write it as 3.5 if you wish, or if you wish to leave it in fraction form, go right ahead, no worries. And then 10 multiplied by half is going to be 5. All right, so here's our answer. Here's our final answer. I right, hope that's clear. Now let's let's spice things up a little. And let's say you want to find out, uh, first let me erase this. All right, now suppose you're given another matrix C with elements as minus 5 and uh, 4. Okay, again, just random values. Now, suppose the question's asking you to find out 3A minus 4C. All right, so we're covering two concepts here. We're covering the concept that we did previously, which was addition or subtraction, and we're covering scalar multiplication. So as far as 3 is concerned, well, we just figured it out. I erased it. <laughs> but uh, let's just do it again. So 3 times 3 is 9. Well, we'll do that in the next step, okay? Let's be good students. And then 4 times C, so that's going to be minus 5 and 4. So 3 times 3 is going to be 9, as we saw earlier, and 3 times 5 is going to be 15, so that's that. Now, the thing I want to emphasize on is, is what I'm about to do right now, is that what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave this minus sign as it is, and then I'm going to take this 4, and then I'm going to multiply it with minus 5, and then I'm going to multiply it with 4, all right? Now, the minus sign stays intact. So 4 times minus 5 is going to give me negative 20, and 4 times 4 is going to give me positive 16. Now I'm going to subtract the two matrices. So here I have 9 minus minus 20, and then 15 minus 16. So 9 minus minus 20 is eventually going to turn into plus. I think we can skip that step here and just do it mentally. So 9 plus 20 is going to give me 29. And then 15 minus 16 is going to give me minus 1. So this is how scalar multiplication of matrices is carried out. I hope that's clear. I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, I'm going to be teaching you matrix multiplication. And that is the... Uh, the in the next video, we're going to be discussing matrix multiplication. So make sure you watch that video when I upload it. And that is perhaps the most important concept of matrices. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take good care of yourself. And as always, make sure that you hit the subscribe button in case you haven't. And don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends, classmates, and whoever you think can possibly benefit from it. So take care, fellas. Peace.